I'd like to begin by acknowledging all the distinguished guests that are here, albeit virtually, as well as all the members and friends of our Indian community. I'm delighted to be here with you today to celebrate everything Indian, even if it is virtually. For many years, this popular festival has promoted and strengthened our diverse communities, welcoming all Victorians to embrace Indian traditions and culture. This year, however, we find ourselves in unprecedented times where the COVID-19 pandemic has altered our lives and the way we interact. Diwali is a festive and joyous occasion which offers a wonderful combination of revelry, reflection and tradition. It is one of India's most significant festivals and one of great meaning and importance to several religions. It offers an opportunity to reflect upon the fortunes of the year gone by and look forward with hope and purpose to the year to come. Diwali is known as the Festival of Lights and its core values appeal to many people throughout the world. Many millions of hands will repeat the same simple action of lighting a candle or a lamp, signifying hope and renewal and affirming life and goodness. And it is our belief in the goodness and the power of light that empowers us to commit ourselves to good deeds, to charity and to compassion. These are universal virtues and ones to which all people should aspire. I thank the Indian community in Victoria for inviting the broader community to experience this joyful and positive festival and for so generously sharing your traditions, culture and heritage with all Victorians. I thank the Committee of Celebrate India for staging another incredible showcase of Indian spirit, even under these very challenging restrictions. Thank you for your commitment to the Indian community in Victoria and for your work in fostering Indian culture and traditions. To everyone with us today enjoying this wonderful festival, I hope you have a fantastic time, even under these very different circumstances. Thank you.